Okay, my name's Steve Mann, and we're at the Fontaine Hydrolophone Lab. I'm a professor at University of Toronto, and also I'm an inventor, and I invent various kinds of things, uh, you know, such as the ITAP electric seeing aids, electric eyeglasses, and one of my inventions, the hydrolophone, or underwater pipe organ. While I was at McMaster University in, in, in Hamilton, I worked there with uh, Dr. Simon Haken. Professor Haken is sort of known as the father of radar vision. One of the things I developed was a seeing aid for the blind that worked on radar that allowed blind people to feel objects pressing against their body from some distance away as they walked around. And it's, it's, it's interesting because as a child I used to build musical instruments and other things, you know, as an inventor, I guess. I studied physics and, and uh, engineering and zero musical environment, but, but, you know, I had something in my own heart, I think. Another uh, long-standing passion of mine has been these water-based instruments. I find a lot of people are skeptical. Like, when I first put forth this idea, when I said, oh, I want to build an underwater pipe organ, you know, people said, well, people need that about, about as much as a fish needs a bicycle. You know, you have in the orchestra strings, percussion, and wind, but strings and percussion are both solid matter. They both make sound from solid matter. But what about liquid? And all these physicists told me, well, you cannot have a liquid-based instrument, it's impossible. And I heard liquid nitrogen trucks being filled up and they would often, I'd often hear these interesting sounds. Uh, liquid nitrogen was the obvious under high pressure and then uh, oil and you know hydraulic fluid. I sort of got thinking that, that there's very real possibility of having a kind of instrument that will make sound out of water. And so now I'm going to introduce a new category called hydrolophones. I had this idea of what I, what I call a natural way of learning music. So we just give a natural minor scale that starts on the letter A and goes up. I'll just give it a little bit more water here. So this is a hydrolophone like we have in, in public parks and spaces like that. So you play it by covering up the finger holes. So if, it, if you block it just a little bit, it tends to go flatter and darker. And as you come towards the center, it, it sounds a little bit brighter and sharper. So it's a microtonal instrument. It gives you a lot of expression. It's kind of like a violin, like bowing a violin, flowing instead of bowing. It's full of pipes inside. So there's a separate pipe for each note, for each jet. And then um, when, you, when you touch your finger against the water jet, then it diverts, the pressure diverts water back into the sounding mechanism inside the instrument. So each pipe is tuned for, uh, tuned for the notes of the scale. Sometimes we do um, equal temper tuning, sometimes we do just intonation. These instruments appeal obviously to the deaf blind because they use a tactile element while you're touching and also you know you can, you can feel the vibrations in the instruments. We also sold one to the Canadian National Institute for the Blind for special needs children to develop their tactile sense. The skills of reading Braille are similar to the skills, skills of playing hydrolophone. It wasn't until we started to uh, actually get people to experience it for themselves that they go, wow, this is fantastic. It's really, really mind-blowing. It's like there's a, there's a certain experientiality of it. That's so nice. <laughs> Jeez almighty. This instrument is called the balnophone, and it's a hydrolophone built in, this one's built into a spot hot tub. Now the crazy thing's going to be trying to get a reggae beat out of this. <laughs> 